I have been following with keen interest the debate between Don Preston and Ed Stevens for the past 18 months or so on the subject of the death of Adam and felt it right to respond by a way of a video which I will include at the end of this video. A testimony given at Hill Park Baptist Church, Fareham, Hampshire, UK. Sunday the 29th of December by David Clark. The sermon that Ryan Fees spoke about, he spoke about the subject of um, the rapture, uh, the second coming of the Lord Jesus, the destruction of Jerusalem in 70 AD and so on. Well, my testimony relates to that. And the testimony I wanted to bring forward was, and I have confirmed it with mine, to think it's okay to bring forward, that I had, um, following a debate in the, in the States relating to the rapture, we soon got onto the subject of the death of Adam and what was the effects of the death of Adam. And uh, last week before the meeting, I was watching a documentary and um, I saw the viciousness of lions attacking un beasts that can't defend themselves and the death that occurred. And we are living in a world where death exists. Right? Now you can't deny it at all. But that's not the way that, <laughs> that we would like the world to be. Now death shows itself in many ways. So the debate that was going on in the States, I've been waiting 18 months before the, the last one came on, and I decided I'd write and contribute to the debate and express my understanding of it. The one party was saying, um, his name is Don Preston, and the other party is Ed Stevens. Don Preston was saying the only death that occurred in the Garden of Eden was sin death. That Adam entered into sin, and as a result, Jesus had to die for that kind of death. It doesn't relate to physical death, nor the other kinds of death, which I seem to feel that there's quite, something quite wrong about this, because it's through the death of our Lord Jesus Christ, through, through the death of God manifesting the flesh, through the death of the Son of God, the blood of God, if you like, dying, that recovers up from every aspect of death. So I looked into the subject. I'm not going to go through it now. I'm just going to let you what the debate was all about. The various kinds of death, there is of course sin and death, there's the death of darkness that Pharaoh complained of. He prayed to, said to Moses, pray the Lord to deliver him from this death, the death of darkness. And the Apostle Paul uh, said that he was, a, uh, he was a, a preacher of the gospel, he had to pray through this and through that, through deaths often, he uses the phrase death. And then of course there's the death of the body, which is um, the soul is removed from the body, and uh, it goes to its maker and it's going to be dealt with, but the fact is physical death. And then the second death. Now, the death that Adam entered into through his sin was manifold. And that's the nature of the argument. So I, I probably the debate on setting forward, and this was our uh, setting forward, and the result was this. Came back to me, I'll just read it to you. Because it's a conclusion, he says, That was an excellent presentation of the fall and death of Adam. Your explanation of the manifold kinds of death that were included in the threat against Adam's sin was very helpful. I call it comprehensive death because it includes spiritual death, physical death, eternal death as the second death. I also appreciated your treatment of Genesis 3.21 about the garments of skin that God made for Adam and Eve by killing an innocent victim on their behalf a substitutionary sacrifice which died in their place. They died with the animal, like we do in Christ, and put on its skin, like we put on the righteousness of Christ. And your emphasis on the saving faith of Adam was right on target. Without faith, it's impossible to please God, Hebrews 7 6. So, it is only those who have faith like Adam and Abraham who will be saved. All indeed die in Adam, but only those who have faith like Adam will be saved. You did a very well you did very well in that video presentation, dear brother. May you and all your, yours be blessed. So that's it, that's the testimony. That's the result. You know, one vision of Adam's quite it just consolidated your life, what I've had to say. So 